When I go shopping for slimes, the one thing I notice a lot is scam slimes. If you aren't familiar with the concept, people take all the information and listing photos of genuine websites and make these fake profiles with pretty much no sales, no reputation and no reviews and this is because they're fake. I thought it would be really fun to buy those products but also the genuine products and compare what you would get if you were buying the real thing. First up to put this to the test is Patrick's Gummy from Dose Slimes and this is a gorgeous vibrant pink. It's scented like gummy bears and it's based off Patrick from Spongebob. Like you can see, it's so thick and every time I dunk my fingers into it, it doesn't really lose its shape. And that was one of my favourite things about this. It's super holdable, which means basically that it won't fall over your hands in the same way that a normal slime would. But this is fantastic. I really love that it's holding its shape so well and also I love the colour. The Scam Slime's colour was a lot darker and the first thing I noticed was that it was quite bouncy. So I thought maybe if I take this out of the container, it will get better. And like you can see, it was pink, it was glossy and I was like, this is going to be the perfect slime and then it started jiggling and it felt like raw meat. I don't actually think this is made with glue at all so I don't, I'm not going to call it a slime, I'm going to call it a jelly. I don't know what the purpose of this is, it smells like dish soap so maybe it's meant to be a dish soap but it gives off a really weird residue so I don't think it is a cleaning product. Sour Tangerine Gummy was the next slime I tried from Dove Slimes and like you can see on the right I did get another jelly, I don't know what to call these, but we're going to start off with the good slime. Again this is a really nice thick formula, it was definitely slightly less thick than the previous one and this could be down to the weather or it could be down to scent or general ingredients added, but like you can see there was so much gloss, I would go as far as to say even more gloss if anything and this is really nice, very nice to play with, very very stretchy as well and it came with a gorgeous little orange charm. The Scam Slime, again, it had the cute little tape matching the slime, but this was a lot softer. And I think I was thinking about this. Maybe they made a slime and it set over time. Maybe they added a wrong ingredient and it made jelly slime because this one was way more mushy and it didn't feel like a jelly. So I'm, I'm thinking maybe with this one, they actually intended to make a slime, but this gave off an unholy amount of residue. Like you can see here, it was just bad, but it fit back into the container because it was so mushy. Dope Slime sent me about 10 slimes and I decided because I had so many I might as well just try another shop and try not to get jellies with these ones. And for the first one I'm testing Mermaid Cove, this is the authentic one and the blue in this is so beautiful, it's like a turquoise blue, it honestly looks like a fresh ocean colour, so so pretty, it comes with marshmallow bees and I actually got two charged that I was really surprised by. Next up we have the Scam Slime, now I don't know what went wrong here, initially I thought maybe this was some gold leaf that kind of like rusted because sometimes that turns slime green but if you can see here this isn't like holding on to anything it looks like it's just growth and some parts are like darker than others so when I put my finger in and it was melted I wasn't surprised I think what probably happened and what happens in a lot of slimes and it's something to be cautious with is if you have any sugar or any food on your hand and you touch that slime no matter whether it's a crumb it will rot the slime and it will melt it down and like I could see here when I was mixing this up can you see it's not moving so it's not a colorant it isn't anything it isn't like a, a slime add-in it's like something that's staying somehow so I think it must be mold that's grown on here After that, I was determined to get a good scam slime shot for dope slimes, and this one was it. So first up, we're gonna start with the original, and this is Butterfly Petals, and it comes with so many glitters on top. Some butterfly glitters, which are so cute, I've never seen these done before, and then some fine glitters and nail glitters. But the thing that really stood out to me was definitely the coloring. So this is purple and blue, and this clip here is after I've mixed it and let it sit, because the colors reset, which I think is so cool. And I'm sure someone's done this in slime before, but I've never seen it. And this is so cool to me and I, honestly it's just one of the coolest things and it didn't flow really smoothly I'm not gonna lie it didn't 
have like the same flow that a lot of his cloud slimes do but I added a bit of activator it became more fluffy but again it just wasn't super smooth flowing but because of the cool effect I don't really mind. This was the scam slime it looked so similar in terms of the color of the glitter but it didn't have the variety it just had like the fine glitters and a bit of like texture in there but the colors were the same on the bottom it didn't have the cool effect I think they don't have the dye which is understandable just because you know it's a very unique thing but it had the same theme and overall the slime was good like there wasn't any fallout it wasn't smoother flowing than the original I would say it's slightly worse but it wasn't bad like it wasn't a bad slime after all of these bad slimes in this video I was very pleased with this. Moving on to Moo Milk, we have Slime Jellies and her gorgeous blue thick slime. This is called Blue Java Banana Moo Milk. I've tried to sell it so many times. This is a gorgeous thick slime. I love her textures because they're like no other. I think she sources different ingredients from most other sellers. It feels so gummy, very thick, but it doesn't translate on camera. And this is scented like banana, which I don't normally love, but this is definitely a banana scent that's like on the better end of the spectrum. And this inflates slightly, not a ton, but it retains its gloss, which I thought it was fantastic. You might look at the scam slime and think, wow, this is actually a pretty good replica. And you would be right in that it looks a very good slime. It's very glossy, it's a light blue. This is scented like a really tangy raspberry scent. And you might be thinking, why is this? And they resold me someone else's slime. And they've scratched out the name, but I'm pretty sure it says my happy hobby slimes. I'm assuming this is used and really old because I haven't seen this in her slime prop ever before and I've tried her before but she's fantastic. The slime was really good and in good condition to give them props but alas it was not my slime jellies order that I tried. The next slime was a very similar story. So the original slime is candy milk. This is scented like Fruit Loops to me. And this is so glossy. Like you can see this folds over very similarly to Dope Slime Slime. Again, it has a very unique texture. It doesn't feel like any of the white glue slimes that I typically feel. And it comes with these confetti pieces. What I think this slime shop does, and I was thinking about it when I was editing this, is I think they buy slimes that are similar just because they want to try them. And then once they're done with them, they resell them. Which is obviously so gross. And I do not recommend anyone buys this because it's just unhygienic and once you play with it for a while your own debris like gets put in the slime and that's why people throw them away or want to resell them. The next slime was one that I was really excited to try just because it's a really unusual concept. So I think, I don't know, in general, I just think it's quite a hard one to pull off. So this is Pot Pie from Borax Buddy Slime. If you're wondering if you have seen this clip before, you have. I've used this in a 2018 video, but when I saw this online, I thought it was worth just bringing it up from the archives again because this was a really nice slime. I remember it selling like, a warm apple pie I think I described it as. This looks very different to what it smells like and I think that's one of the most common misconceptions about the slime. The scam slime was visually very similar. It had the same little flame beads in there. It had orange chunks just not as much but the thing that really stood out to me was my hands were left really feeling oily after playing with this which was weird because the slime itself didn't really feel oily and like I can see on the top here in these clips which I couldn't see in real life was that I think the slime because of the heat at the moment brought the scented oils out to the top and so they stuck to my hand and made it really scented. The scent was like a green apple scent rather than a warm cinnamon apple scent but it was still nice regardless. The thing is the slime was milky but it was kind of like jiggly. It was a weird texture. It kind of reminded me of a store-bought slime. Thank you. 
Another one from the archives is Blackberry Buttercream. Now this was a butter slime, but it had a unique twist to it. It was kind of feeling like velvety to me. And like you can see with the scale slime, again, the oils brought out a lot more as well. But this, funnily enough, wasn't as scented. And I think maybe the color of the previous one hid it, whereas it shows a lot more in this. But this slime had really hardened up. And I guess over time, clay slimes can harden up just naturally because that's what happens. It's air dry clay in them. So naturally air dries them. And like you can see here, it kind of fell apart looking furry almost. It definitely wasn't fur in there, but I think there was something in there that added to the texture, but over time just made it a bit harder. The more you play with this, it's definitely melted down and was easier to play with, but it ended up being like a stress ball. And again, the scent wasn't bad. It was really nice. It was actually like a fruity, I would say like a summer fruit scent. I couldn't find where the slime had gone, so I can't go back and smell it, but I do remember it smelling really sweet at the time. I think it was more of an icing smell than it was a blackberry, but this was very silky and it was a different type of butter slime. I remember it having some texture in there and I don't know whether this was a secret ingredient or just some fake snow in there but it's smooth it was really really nice to play with and it was extremely relaxing Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. And I'll see you next week. Bye.